Hi friends! Welcome to Storytime with Sam. My name is Sam and today we'll be doing an awesome book called Speak Up Molly Lou Mellon which is about a very brave and kind-hearted young girl who always stands up for her friends. And in this video I have a special guest who will be doing the voice for Molly Lou Mellon. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Speak Up, Molly Lou Mellon by Patti Lowell and David Catrow. Molly Lou Mellon was a tiny little girl with a big, deep down heart. Her mom always told her, be true to yourself. So she was. Molly Lou Mellon tried to do the right things in her life. It didn't always work. Her mom always told her, take responsibility for the things that you do, good or bad. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had friends of all shapes, sizes, opinions, and ideas. Her mom always told her, Accept people for who they are and listen to their ideas, even if they are different from yours. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had a loud voice and she chatted, jabbered and gabbed all the time with her friends. Her mom always told her, you have a strong voice. Use it to speak up for anyone who might need your help. So she did. In the fall, Molly Lou Mellon started school again with a big yellow backpack and a huge toothy smile for all of her friends. She sat with Ronald Durkin and Gertie in the front row of their classroom. Bettina Bunkelhead snickered at them and cooed, Molly Lou and Ronald, kissy kissy boyfriend, girlfriend. Molly Lou Mellon stood up and told her, We are friends. Then she exchanged special handshakes with Gertie and Ronald. Woodle woodle dink dink cha cha waddle do. In the winter, Molly Lou Mellon had to be project partners with Bettina Bunkelhead. They accidentally painted all over the desks and not on their papers. It was a little fun. When the teacher asked who did it, Molly Lou Mellon said, Me! and had to spend recess cleaning the desks. Bettina said nothing and played a great game of pirate outside. Molly Lou Mellon was mad at first, but then she played her own thrilling game of swabbing the decks. Well, desks. In the spring, a new boy named Garvin Grape started school. He was small, he wore glasses, and his ears stuck out. He told the class all about Newton's law of gravity in a long speech at the front of the room. Bettina Bunkelhead rolled her eyes, sneered at Garvin, and said, Big deal! really loudly. Garvin's cheeks turned bright red, and he hung his head. Molly Lou Mellon raised her hand and said, Yes, gravity is a big deal. Then she scribbled a little note and handed it to Garvin. It read, Welcome to our school. Nice speech. Join us on the playground at recess. We can test out some gravity. Woodle woodle dink dink cha cha waddle do. Signed, Molly Lou, Gertie, and Ronald. On the first day of summer, Bettina Bunkelhead showed up at camp and promptly stuck her foot out, tripping Garvin Grape. He crashed to the ground and his glasses went flying. Bettina grinned and chirped, Smarty pants looks like gravity got ya. 
Molly Lou Mellon caught Garvin's glasses in midair, went nose to nose with Bettina and said, You must never do anything like that again to my friend. Friends stand up for one another. Ronald stepped forward and so did Gertie, waving her crutch. They pulled Garvin Grape up, linked arms, and the four friends together shouted, Woodle, woodle, dink, dink, dink cha cha, waddle do. If you want to be a friend, it's all up to you. And so, even Bettina Bunklehead became friends with Molly Lou Mellon and her buddies. The end. I think we should all try to be more like Molly Lou Mellon and speak up for our friends and for those who do not have a voice. It's the right thing to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, be kind to one another and have a great day.